Let's play it. Ah, just play it. It's not the elephant. It's me. And we are going to, this is the project you're going to create. We're going to use paint. We're going to use a white crayon and more paint. So uh, get started. Bye. All right, everybody. This is what we're going to do. You have your project on top of newspaper. You've got your cup of water with a paintbrush. And you've got some beautiful colors of paint inside of an ice cube tray. What we have to do first, though, is before we paint, we have to create a border with a white crayon. This is going to be our invisible barrier so we don't get color inside of our elephant. We're only coloring around the elephant, okay? What I'm going to do is speed it up because I'm just going to outline um, around my elephant with white. It's not going to be all the way around. It's going to be right against my black line. Not on top of the black line, right against it. All right, I'm going to just fast forward so we can uh, speed it up. All right, guys, so I've got my border done. It's time for me to get ready to paint. We've got our uh, thing of water with paintbrush in it. We've got our beautiful colors. Now, looking at the colors, there's two color combinations you cannot use on your project because you're gonna get some like brown, muddy colors, and you don't want that. You want beautiful, bright colors. So please, do not combine the following. Do not combine red and green. It'll turn into an ugly color. It's like a grayish brown. Do not combine yellow and purple. It'll also turn to a really, really gross color. Please don't do that. But the other colors, go ahead and, and combine. You Green and purple looks good. Purple and red even look good together. But don't combine the two colors that I just mentioned. Now that we know this, it's time to paint. All right, so what we do is we get our paintbrush out of the water, tap it a little bit, get all that excess water off, kind of wipe it off on the uh, newspaper to get extra water off again. And now dip it inside of your colors. Uh, I'm going to go with purple here. Kind of dip it, not too much. You don't want to drench it. Just enough to get um, some pigment on the paintbrush. And all you do is just paint. When you get to that uh, wonderful little elephant, you'll see that it, you got to paint around it. Try not to get it on the elephant. And guess what? It won't let you. That crayon that we use avoids watercolor by all means. So you see I'm just painting. Oh, look at that. I have no more uh, paint on my brush. It's scratchy. What do I do? I get a new color maybe. Clean out your brush. Kind of tap it again. Wipe it off on the newspaper. Get a new color. I'm going to go with this magenta. I think it's pretty nice and, and it might blend well with purple. And then you see how to blend your paint, you need to kind of do some little strokes from up, you know, up and down or side to side. That helps you get the colors to blend better. And then you just go from side to side. And again, once you get scratchy, get more, wash out your brush, get more paint, get a different color, whatever you want to do. But again, if you want to blend your colors, you do quick movement from side to side or left to right, and that'll get it blended. All right, I'm going to speed it up. You're going to watch me paint fast, and then we're going to go ahead and talk to you. all done there's no white space surrounding my elephant only the white border that I created with my white crayon notice I did not combine purple and yellow or a red or green I kept it with the warm colors with the bright pinks and the oranges and the yellows and when I wanted to blend I use those short strokes to kind of blend them together especially around this area all right so I'm done explaining what we're gonna do today just know it has to be completely covered with beautiful colors, no brown or muddy colors, and you'll be good. All right, it's your turn. Let's go.